And Dana, something is brewing with Utah football. Oh, big, big changes. Yeah, after getting benched Saturday against San Diego State, Utes quarterback Charlie Brewer has left the team. Brewer was a four-year starter at Baylor, throwing for almost 10,000 yards. But after three games with the Utes, Brewer was benched. So now Cam Rising has officially taken over as the Utes starting quarterback. After winning a close battle in training camp, Charlie Brewer showed glimpses against Weber State with two touchdown passes. But after back-to-back -back poor performances against BYU and San Diego State, which wasn't all his fault, Brewer was benched. But instead of sticking with the Utes, Brewer decided to preserve his final year of eligibility and leave the program. So now Cam Rising takes over, and already a team captain, he's ready to step into that leadership role. I take great pride in just making sure that I'm I'm setting an example and just focus on doing that, but just making sure that everybody stays together and is, is really locked in on what we're trying to accomplish. The biggest testament to what Cam did was that when he was the backup, he was just as hyped and excited as he was when he was the starter. And you can't say that about everybody. A lot of times when people aren't playing, they're kind of sitting on the sideline. They're not as hyped and they're not hyping people up as much. And then when they do get called in and you bring that energy, it just feels like a different person. Whereas Cam is that person all the time. I think that's what people could rally behind was the fact that we're going to get that from Cam 24-7. Sunday, after the loss to the Aztecs, the team held a players-only meeting where they could air their grievances. It's unclear if that was what prompted Brewer to leave. Uh, we had a lot of guys speak and a lot of guys talk. And like I said, it doesn't mean that it's going to translate into 10 straight victories, but the team is in a much better headspace right now. I wasn't aware that it was going to happen until they came and talked to me afterwards and it appeared to be very productive and uh, got some things hashed out. But certainly is a, a uh, indicator that there's a lot of care and, and uh, investment by them to, uh, to do that. Freshman Jaquindon Jackson is now the backup to Rising. With Pac-12 play about to start Saturday against Washington State, the Utes feel like a new beginning is on the horizon. This is what we've been waiting for, what we've been itching for. We're, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge that we're facing ahead, and we're ready for it. Yeah, Brewers, the second straight transfer quarterback from a Power 5 school to leave. Remember, Jake Bentley didn't work yeah. out last year, but they have a lot of faith in Cam Rising. Sounds Remember, like he won the starting job last year before getting hurt, but clearly Utah, not the place for Charlie Brewer, even though he was so good mm -hmm. at Baylor. Yeah. It just didn't work out here. It's hard to comprehend how that happens, but I, I guess a different system maybe just doesn't work for you know, Everyone. the same as Not a good match for, with the Utes yeah. offense, I guess, but because he threw for almost 10,000 yards, 65 right. touchdowns at mm. Baylor, but now it's in Cam Rising's hands, and we're going to have more about this uh, tonight at 6 and 10. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Dana. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.